Hi, this video is in response to a question from section 12.1 in our book. Uh, question number five, uh, it's performing a goodness of fit test to determine if there is fraud for writing checks. So let's get into it. Okay, so um, this problem tells us that the first significant digit in any number must be a number between one and nine. And it was discovered that the first digit does not occur with equal frequency. And uh, the probability distribution for how often they do occur is known as Benford's Law. So um, what we have here is some data for uh, determining from some checks. And we're trying to figure out if those checks are fraudulent or not. And so um, the student already did the first couple pieces of the problem. Our, hyp our hypothesis test, our null hypothesis, is that the first digits obey Benford Benford's law, meaning there's no fraud. And, alter and our alternative hypothesis is that there is fraud, so they do not obey Benford's law. And then we're asked for the test statistic and the p-value. So let's go ahead and do that in StatCrunch. So first thing we need to do is we need to open the full data set, set in StatCrunch. Um, and so here it is. And in order to do a goodness of fit test, I need to know the observed uh, frequency and the expected frequency. And those need to be counts. So this frequency here is actually our observed frequency. And then I need to know the expected frequency based on this probability. And so I can actually calculate that here in StatCrunch by going to Data, Compute, Expression. So basically, in order to figure out what the expected uh, count is, I think we would have this total number of observations multiplied by this probability will give me the expected. So I do that by saying, OK. I need to multiply my probability by the sum of all of my observed for each um, spot, each cell, and then I will label this expected. And that will give me the expected counts, because remember expected is n times p. So p is our probability here, and n is our total number of observations. So each one of these is n times p. So now that I have my observed counts and my expected counts, I can do my goodness of fit test. And so that's a chi-squared test. And in stat crunch, we do stat, and then we do goodness of fit. We do a chi-squared test. Our observed is in our observed. Our expected, remember these are counts, so that's expected. And then I just hit compute. So here is our chi-squared value, and here is our p-value. And since our p-value is so much less than our level of significance, 0 0.000, uh, we can uh, reject the null hypothesis and say, yes, there is actually evidence of fraud, which is actually pretty cool. You can use math to figure it out. So I hope this helps.